I'm Vivian Ngano. I work here at Rome, uh, EM production line. We call it motorcycle production line. I'm the team lead as well as the line manager for the main line assembly. Rome is a company striving to, uh, to deal with change of climate. Uh, for now, we have uh, a lot of worries in temperatures and wetters. So we want to like bring it down to a level where it's vivable for human beings to live in. We have stations uh, for producing the bikes. We have a, sub a subdivision of stations from station zero to station eight. Uh, why am I saying we have station zero? This is where we, re we receive our friends and kept awaiting for the production line. So we have from station one to station eight is where we assemble our bikes. And we have what we call tack time that help us to do the line balancing of the bikes. So in each station, it's supposed to take 14 minutes. That is our tack time for, for producing the bikes. That will enable us to produce around 32 bikes per day in one line. So uh, you can imagine when we have around two to three lines, how many bikes are we supposed to produce in a day? One of the advantages of using electric motorcycle over the fuel fossil motorcycle is sustainability. Rome is working hard to address issues of climate change, to make it favorable for human beings to live in. Number two is where a customer saves a lot from our Rome bike. If you find right now, a one liter of fuel costs up to above 170 shillings. But to charge our battery full costs you 50 shillings only, which takes you around 80 kilometers. The number three advantage is servicing your bikes. Electric motorcycle doesn't need a lot of services, like the fuel fossil motorcycles. When we started producing the electric motorcycles, the demand was a, a little bit low because the, our customers were, were, were like not aware of the electric bikes. But now, our customer demand is becoming higher. It's around 70% uh, like here.